the wheel as far as possible. That's so that the kingpin will get the um, scrub radius to be zero or something close to that. And this upper ball joint is here. Oh, uh, the heights of the ball joints. In road racing, <coughs> you get a double arm from before. Yeah. Here's the lower ball joint and the upper ball joint. Um, for forces, we'd like that lower ball joint to be as low as possible. The higher it is, the bigger the force on that joint. But there's a, just a physical limitation of ground clearance in, in these off-road cars. And so they're putting their lower ball joint pretty much at wheel center line, far off the ground. Same thing for this one. Lower ball joint is wheel center line. That's just to give maximum clearance for the air onto the ground. This is a UTV, um, utility train vehicle, um, which is not a bad model. Again, very long arms. Um, this one does put the spring far out. They've got it um, pretty close to that, but they've got it inclined a lot more than I would prefer. They're losing it. They're showing the articulation you can get. This is a bad suspension. Um, just some garage person, but gives you an idea of like, what not to do. Uh, the spring is being, load is being fed into the middle of a bar that's an extra bar that they added. Like, why not get that spring fed into this bar? Move this bar so the spring's in the right way. And they've got it fed into the middle of a um, lower arm with no reinforcement. So that's going to break right there. There's another trophy truck rear suspension uh, with these links here. This trophy truck has a anti-roll bar, uh, so the, the bar goes across, you can't really see the bar itself, but um, there's one arm here to a drop link, and there's the other drop link there. So that's to reduce rear roll um, angle. You can see the, uh, all these funny colors, that's from welding. Let's see. Uh, this one does it nice. This spring is being fed right into that point. So that's very strong from a, for the frame. And the front spring is fed right into that point. Uh, but the motion ratio is not very good. Again, it's about point five. Still all triangles, triangle, 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 triangle. So they know what they're doing for frame design. This is not a very good design. Um, spring load being fed into the middle of the tube. So that's going to break right there. Thank <laughs> you.